Hey, Rosemont hacking, y'all. This is the book I'm going to show you guys. I know it looks plain. You can't tell what it is, but if you look at the side, it says Stephen Hawking. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there you go. The universe in a nutshell. Yeah. So basically, it's a scientific book. I'm not gonna lie. Some parts are complicated. Some some parts I understand. And here's the contents. Talks about chapter one, the brief history of relativity. Chapter two, the shapes of time. Chapter three, the universe in a nutshell. Chapter four, proceeding the future. Predicting. Chapter five, proceeding the past. Protecting six, our future. Star Trek or not. Chapter seven, Brave New World. And of course, your glossary. And it is produced, well, published by. What's the name of the publisher? If I can find it, it's probably in front of my face. I'm just too blind to see it. Bantam Books. Yeah. Books are published by Bantam Books. Oh, well, there's that. It's, uh, it's books on theories about relativity and ideas of the universe. Has a lot of uh, theories of uh, time travel, how the universe expands over a course of uh, millions of years. It also talks about the Doppler effect, which is a perfect example of when you see a plane in the sky, it's so far away, but it sounds so close because it's loud. It talks about the mass of our universe, like saying that, I think it was Einstein that theorized, I know, I know this book mentions a lot about Albert Einstein because he's a brilliant man, saying that all things in the universe has mass, and a perfect example of that is that, um, Universe is like a bed sheet, and to predict that it has mass when you lay like a bowling ball on the bed, it sinks in. And when you have a marble and you push it towards the bowling ball, it's gonna f it's gonna fall towards the mass, and that simulates gravity. That's where the idea of gravity comes in. That's a very very interesting theory, and very easy to understand. But some parts, eh, make you scratch your head. But, you know, gets you thinking. And this page talks about warp space-time. And if I can just read maybe a quote from the book. Uh, we find a spectrum that characterizes, or characteristic of radiation from the body at temperature of 2.7 degrees above absolute zero. And what else? Talks about the uncertainty particle. Um, I'm probably boring you guys because I'm looking at books and I probably don't sound too enthusiastic, but believe me, I don't mind looking at these books. Um... Here is, what's his name, Paul Townsend on the egghead of pea brains. Well, I can't really pronounce it. It's spelled P-R-A-N-E-S. I probably don't sound as intelligent as I sound, but whatever. I know some words I can't really pronounce, but whatever. It talks about the M theory. Um... What else? This guy uh, describes about how quantum theory shapes uh, time and space. So basically, a little bit of uh, quantum mechanics, as you know. Um, the reason why I bought this book is because it has a history of, uh, well, theories of time travel. I love time travel, watching Back to the Future. Um, what else? Quantum Leap, Time Cop, just the whole fantasy of it just got me really into the theory and how it works and things like that. Oh! Uh, speaking of theories, this is a very fam hold on famous theory. Talks about uh, space time travel. Uh, for example, you have 
one person on planet Earth, one person out in space. One person on Earth living in real time, a person in space is traveling in the speed of light. Um, say this guy leaves Earth and he's traveling in the speed of light and he's in space for 20 years. And these two guys are exactly the same age. Uh, this guy is, uh, let's say, 20 years old and this guy is 20 years old. This guy leaves planet Earth at the speed of light in his spaceship for uh, 20 years. Comes back. He hasn't aged. He only aged, like, what, two years? So he'd be 22, and this guy would age, what, in his 40s. So you can tell. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very mind-blowing. It's awesome. So uh, here's the rest of the book. I know this review is a little bit longer, but, you know, it's really interesting. talks about history of the universe, how the universe was formed, things like that, Big Bang Theory, things like that. So yeah, check it out. Bye.